Welcome, Gemini's. Gemini's. Okay, Gemini's, welcome. I want to say thank you so much. Thank you for the wonderful, wonderful experience. Thank you for supporting my channels. These readers are timeless, Gemini's. Let's go in and see what is transpiring. All right, my Gemini's, I love you guys so much. Um, all right, Gemini's, I love the action that you're coming in um, with in uh, this month. It's as if action. You're using the sword of truth. It's about action, using the sword of truth, showing up people, showing up situations, showing up what was happening, recognizing what was happening and bringing some sort of a balance by using the sword of truth so gemini you're really coming in strong there is no question about this um you gemini's are coming in strong um this is this period is really good so we're looking at the month of february and all that is going to be happening and transpiring in the month of february when it comes on to work financial um this is your business reading so these are readings are timeless so um they were uploaded in February, but whenever you have a question, whenever you're dealing with a situation and you want to return to look at these reading, um, you know, they, they are all timeless. OK, so let's say that you have a problem at work. Um, you're dealing with um, your manager. You want to know what exactly is coming up. Um, you can always come back and recognize these reading and see exactly what is happening in transpire. So what we are seeing is that you have the sword of truth and it's in the upright position. So this is good. Um, you are using the sword of truth to communicate and show up some sort of a documentation and showing that people have, have not been, um, you know, working. These people have been like um, not showing up and doing the work that they were supposed to um, perform their duties. OK, so what is happening and transpired is that you're recognizing, hey, I got to make some sort of a changes in my department. I got to make some sort of a changes in my company. I got to make some sort of a changes in my team because people are not. Because if you notice in this cross, you're realizing that, hey, I have people on my team, but I need to have people who are very good. A lot of you are going to be recognizing that some sort of a um, deceptive play was created by your boss. Is this your boss or your old boss? A lot of people are now recognizing that this person has created some sort of a problem, some sort of a uh, issues. And I see that you are going to be writing up this person and I see um, no new offers, no new business is going to be coming into this person because you, Gemini's, are going to be writing up this person and let this people know what this person has been doing and how this person has been creating a lot of uh, deceptive things in order to break rules and regulation. And uh, you are going to be showing the process and you're going to be recreating a new process and showing where this person was not completing their tax, their duties. So I see you, Gemini's, are, you know, recognizing, and this could be your boss, and, um, you know, your boss, um, whatever your boss was in, and however he got the position, a lot of you, Gemini, is going to be recognizing, hey, this person doesn't have the skill and knowledge to be in the position that they're in. And a whole lot of situation is going to be transpiring where they recognize that this person has been not on top of their game. And this person has been um, like using other people to get their praises. And you're going to be recognized as Gemini and you're going to be showing it up and you're going to be using the sword of truth. So I see a lot of um, situation is coming out where documentation is going to be shed and shown to light and People are going to be recognizing the unfair game um, that was played where this person came in, got a position over you and had no idea, didn't study for um, uh, and didn't have any experience for where they are. So I see a lot of you, the Gemini's at, at work is going to be recognizing, hey, I am not going to be, you know, spending so much years to study so much money. And then this person just comes in, create a mess. And, uh, you know, I'm still where I am when I came here. And it is not that you could not have moved forward or, or, or you know, 
um, work further up is because of this person and you are going to be finding out information about this person from another company um, where this person at work and they're going to be telling you it's the same thing that this person does because they don't have the skill and knowledge and that's why they never kept this person on. So you Gemini's is going to be bringing information documentation to personnel officer or to your supervisor or to your boss and saying look this person is you know um, shaping their way around because they don't have the expert and the skill and they have been creating a lot of issues where I have to be resolving it. So a lot of people are going to be recognizing the horrible play that was um, happened and transpired. A lot of people are going to be recognizing that a lot of you have been in a position for a while and someone else came in and got a position. It could be they were promoted last year. But um, now people are recognizing that this person has no idea what they are doing. And this person has got the position by create by de deceptive by moving deceptive and moving deceptive is uh, that they use their powers in the wrong way in order to um create some sort of a um position for themselves when they were not skilled and had enough knowledge so i see a lot of you um gemini's are going to be saying no this is uh, you know this is unfair um to me um, because I am on top of my game. I have been on top of my game. I have been here for a while and all of this is happening and it's creating more issues that I need um, to um, to clear up. And you're going to be saying like, no, no. So what you're dealing with in uh, this uh, um, uh, quad, uh, period, you're dealing with... Uh, your boss, you're dealing with your boss and you Gemini's are like, hey, no, this is unfair, unfair to myself. So it is a situation where um, this period is linked with Aries, the energy of the boss. This is what I'm always saying, association uh, with the power, personal power of a leadership role, able to handle and to structure the societies, the laws, rule and regulation and rational thinking. And that's what you Geminis can do. You Geminis can um, think rational. But um, um, fire sign people, because this is the energy of the emperor, fire sign people can't think rationally, to be honest. Um, and what is transpiring is that some of you are dealing with a Sagittarian person. Some of you are dealing with a Aries person. And they're going to be recognizing... Um, that these two person are not and do not have the skills because you're you're having a situation to deal with Aries now you're a Gemini you're an air sign and you're dealing with your boss and it is not one of the most pleasant moment and whoever this boss is one is a Sagittarian one is a um, an, an Aries and you're going to be finding out that these two people have collaborated and created some sort of a deceptive play and people are going to be recognizing the horrible play that they had made okay so um, as we look at this T we see these two people and we see it's as if okay so I'm good at my job I love my job but yet still um, these people are air creating issues as we look at the seven of uh, um, the seven of swords, which is on the you, so in this month you're going to be working on getting a situation in balance. The seven of swords is sun and moon in Aquarius. Okay, the sun and moon in Aquarius. The seven of swords is the energy of the sun and moon in Aquarius, ladies and gentlemen. Recklessness. Uh, a misguided effort, negative thinking, a flipped end. So what you're recognizing is that these two people, sun and moon in Aquarius, is this two, these two people have been recklessly um, and, and uh, misguided and misguided other people. And people are now seeing that and it's going to be pulling the rain on it because I see you, um, Gemini's, going in and saying, look, this can't work anymore this is uh, this 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 really this this is not working anymore this can't work anymore because i'm putting out my effort these people are misguiding other people and taking my the credit of my work all right so what is crowning 
your month is the moon in cancer and this is good for you gemini with the moon in cancer new experiences uh, um is going to be coming in from you for you excess in lead to um you know being bored because you recognize that people are in, in you know using their powers in the wrong way and these two bosses have been doing that. So new possibilities are going to be coming up for a lot of you in this uh, um, uh, period. A whole lot of new possibilities is going to be coming up for a lot of you in this period. And this is going to be good. Alrighty. So we are now aware of uh, what is happening, what is transpiring, your major issues and problems. Uh, um, and you are recognizing how to use the sword of truth to, to um, um, remove all of what is going on and to bring back balance. So let's look at the first week, the first week. So in the first week, we have the eight of ones in reverse. And the first week is Mercury. That's what I said. That's what I said, Gemini. You are ruled by Mercury. That is Mercury in Sagittarian. So in the first week, uh, you're going to be at, um, achieving sudden success. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, in the first week, you're going to be achieving some sort of a sudden success. Um, rapid communication. Because you use the sword of truth uh, in order to spit up things that people were not aware of. So Mercury is about communication. And this is communication in a Sagittarius, okay? And what you did was to use the sword of truth to communicate, whether it was via your voice or via written communication. You communicate something that people were not aware of, and you are going to be re receiving um, a whole lot of success coming at you because you showed up a situation that people were not aware of, okay? Then when we look at um, um, the two of uh, the two of ones, we have uh, Mars in Aries. Mars in Aries. Now everything is under control because you brought back control to a situation that was going on the control. So Mars in Aries is about everything is under control because people are now recognizing that your boss or these two bosses was, um, you know really um creating some sort of an issue energy is directed to new part okay and if you recognize your energy is directed to new part okay so this is a really really wonderful because where what we did was uh, this is mercury in sagittarius and you use the sword of truth whether with email or speaking about someone who has used their powers in the wrong way and authority in the wrong way and you have your energies, your energy is now um, moving in a new part towards a new direction. And there you are. So this is good. So you're moving away from this person and showing up this person of what they have done. And this is the sun and moon. Um, this is linked with the energy of the sun and moon. So um, it can a situation that whoever this person is, because the seven of swords is about the sun and moon and the seven of swords let people recognize the sun and moon in Aquarius. Okay. So a lot of you are getting some sort of a, um, effort, um, and using that energy to show up the recklessness of these two people, the recklessness of these two people. So a lot of you, one of you are dealing with a boss, one of you, uh, Sagittarian, one of you are dealing with the Aries and what they have done. I see a big payout could be coming out for some of you in the fourth week. This is going to be good. Um, a really big payout. And if you notice, uh, um, it is coming into you because the Empress back is turned. It's not as if you're paying out to the, to someone else, but I see some sort of an unexpected bonus, um, could be coming in. This could be a declaration formula that has been it's going to be um, paid, so th that sort of a situation. So this is a really, really good because I see some sort of a payment. A lot of you are, are going to be recognizing and some sort of a unexpected money is going to be coming in for you to show up what has been transpiring. So the energy of the Empress is a very, very um, positive energy to have 
in your month because this is going to be creating a whole lot of changes a lot of you that is saying that you are going to be financial stability your your job your work your position is safe your job your work and your position is safe so um a wonderful alignment of energies gemini this is just really powerful this is just really good because this is aligning you and showing up for yourself but also showing up situation that was not above water okay gemini i'm leaving it here please remember show your love by thumbs up um if you'd like to see the extended of this reading gemini follow us to the other side if not i will see you in the mid month namaste